Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.8.5 and Razbam Simulations M2000C Mirage Module. Welcome to Tutorial 5, Matra R550 Magic 2 Missile. This is the standard infrared air-to-air uh, -air missile employed by the M2000C. It's quite analogous to uh, most fairly modern Sidewinders. Uh, it's got a maximum range of 8 nautical miles and it's a FOX-2. Today we're going to learn how to employ this missile using the uh, the radar queuing, although not the close combat modes, because uh, I'm going to cover that in the next tutorial. And I'm also going to demonstrate how to use the missile using only its own seeker. So first, let's jump into the aircraft. We're in the standard uh, nav mode, as it were, and uh, we're going to take a little look at the right-hand armament panel here. And um, much in the same way as we have a light and a button here for the uh, the S530s, on the right here we have the, the button for the magic missiles. Mag means that magic missiles are present, and the P means that they're already warmed up. If they weren't, the P would be missing, uh, and you could simply click this button, and the missiles will go through their warm-up. The, the P will flash until the missiles are ready to fire. We can also push this test button into the down position, and again we can confirm the loadout uh, on this uh, plan form in the, the VTB. So you can see I've got 125 rounds of gun, and I've got one magic missile on each wing. Much like with the 530s, we also have the option of launching the left missile, the right missile, or leaving it in automatic, in which case it'll fire the right and then the left, I believe. Um, the option for total or partial launch does not apply to the magic. Uh, magic missiles are only ever fired individually, uh, and that's because the seeker needs to lock on before launch. So there's no way to do kind of one than the other. Um, so this button is irrelevant. Uh, so we're good, good to go. We have magic missiles present and they are uh, preheated. Now, uh, the standard way of selecting the missile is using the CNM switch. CNM switch in the middle position is neutral and that's used for selecting the 530s or air to ground weapons. If I push the CNM switch forwards I get cannon and I can tell that because I've got flashing can. If I pull the switch aft I have magic missiles and here we have uh, mag flashing just to confirm to us that it's the magic missiles we have selected. Now the reason it's flashing is because master arm is off we next then would need to put Master Arm on, and with Master Arm on, Mag is solid and no longer flashing. So the, the missiles are now ready to go. And we have confirmation here that we have a, a missile on the left, or gauche, and a missile on the right, or droit. Uh, so that's uh, two magic missiles ready to use. And um, yeah, basically once we're in this magic mode, we are good to go. Now, something to note is that we've got two buttons that we're going to need to use uh, when firing these missiles, or that we probably choose to use. Uh, one of them is the nav update slash magic unlock button. Pressing this will effectively reject the current target of the missile seeker. And then we have another button here called Magic Slave slash AG Designate slash INS Position Update. This is used to slave the missile to the currently selected radar target. So these are the two major things we're going to use. Uh, now the, the Magic Unlock button also flips it into different auto acquisition modes. And this is very important to note. So uh, we, we've moved the CNM switch aft and selected the magic missile, by default you'll see that this gives us an up-down arrow here. Uh, and what that's telling us is that we're currently in the vertical wide search. So whenever we just have these arrows, we're in vertical wide search. That's uh, 18, uh, yeah, 18 degrees wide search by 37 degrees high search. So this is this is the default, and actually this is the one you're probably going to want to use most of the time. If you can kind of visualize this, um, it's sort of about HUD width, maybe a little bit more than HUD width, and it's looking up beyond the top of the HUD. And so it's a kind of look ahead, that makes it quite handy. If I tap uh, Magic Unlock, you'll see that I still have the arrow, so we're still in a vertical mode, but we now have this box. And that tells us that we're in vertical narrow search. And that means that we're now in a seven by seven degree search centered around the gun cross. So actually basically <laughs> the exact extents of this box. We also have horizontal modes. 
So the way that we get into horizontal modes, I'm just going to tap uh, Magic Unlock again, and I'm, I'm back in Vertical Wide Search, that's the default. If I actually click Mag uh, on the Weapons panel down here, it'll switch to Mav, uh, and you'll see that we're now in a horizontal mode. So when we have just the horizontal arrows like this, we're in the Horizontal Wide Search. Uh, and this is a very wide search. This is doing 60 degrees wide by 14 degrees high. So it's doing a really, really wide scan across, uh, well, the horizon in this case, but of course, wherever the nose is pointed. Again, I can tap the uh, magic unlock button and I get horizontal narrow search. Uh, so we still have the horizontal uh, arrows here, but we now have a box. And again, this is seven degrees by seven degrees. So this is exactly the same as the vertical narrow search. Um, so yeah, tapping the magic unlock will flip between the two horizontal modes, and then if I click uh, the the weapon select again, it'll flip from Mav to Mag, and that's me back in the vertical mode. Now, to be totally honest, <laughs> I think this is the mode you're probably going to use basically all the time. Um, I don't know why you would want a horizontal search, but it is there just in case you want it. This vertical search is way more useful. It's looking into the turn in effect when you're dogfighting. And if you do need to be kind of more accurate and just get something that's off the nose, tap magic unlock and you've got this seven degree by seven degree mode. Okay, I'm going to reset now and we'll go ahead and have a go at attacking something using the missile's own seeker. Okay, you rejoin me. I'm now inbound some enemy aircraft. And let's have a go at getting a lock here. Now, uh, note that this doesn't work exactly the same way as the Sidewinder. Uh, of course, in the Sidewinder, you have the, the Seeker tone all the time. Um, the magic is a bit different. It has this automated search. It completes a complete search pattern and selects a target based on the available heat signatures. Uh, and so it's, it's not actually going to uh, be a kind of tone and then uncage mechanism like you would have in the Sidewinder. So... Let's go ahead and get ourselves on target. I actually lost sight of where he went. Oh, no, no, it's the moon. <laughs> uh, right, where did he go? Okay, they're off to my right. Let's go get these guys. Uh, so I I'm going to demonstrate locking. I'm currently in the vertical wide search, uh, as I said before. That's kind of... Uh, that's going to be your default. That's what you're going to want to use. There we go. So immediately you're going to get a circle. Let me just pause right now and tell you about what's going on here. Uh, immediately you're going to get a circle around the target. You're then also going to hear the tone so you can determine the quality of the lock. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, both the left and right missiles are now circled. This means that uh, launch requirements have been met. I could now pull the trigger to the second detent and I would fire a missile. Of course, because I'm not using the radar, I have no range information. So it's up to me to determine if I'm in range or not. As such, I'm gonna get just a little bit closer. But you can hear, I've got a solid tone that indicates that I have a good lock with the missile. Uh, let's fire one now. Oh, it actually switched targets there. Um, it will automatically select the target that has the best heat signature within the scan volume. So you're going to be very careful about that. I think that was actually a miss. So let's pull ahead and launch again. Fox 2 and splash. And that's both my magic missiles expended. So it's that simple. That's how you engage the missile using its own seeker. Um, as I said, magic unlock for toggling between the different uh, vertical modes. And if you do want to switch to a horizontal mode, click this button and select Mav. I don't know why it's Mav. Uh, I'm sure it means something in, uh, <laughs> in French. Uh, but in any case, uh, Mag or Mav modes will allow you to use the vertical or the horizontal modes of the seeker itself. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reset now, and we'll demonstrate doing this with the radar. Okay, I've reset. I'm back in the cockpit, and let's go ahead and choose a target over here. There we go. We have a lock. Let's go and get this particular target on the nose. And I'm going to pull CNM switch aft, and I've now selected the magics. And straight away, you can see that we've got a lot more symbology on the HUD here. So uh, let me... Oh, actually, it's flashing at me because I don't have Master Arm on. There we go. 
that's the complete setup. So let's uh, pause here and take a quick look at the symbology. So right now we have the box. Now the box simply indicates the missile, uh, sorry, not the missile, the radar lock, in fact. So that's my radar target there. Uh, this little square is showing me basically like direction of travel. If I wanted to fly an intercept, uh, I would put my flight path marker on this box. We also have the DLZ down the right hand side here, and then we also have closure rate. So currently we're closing at 868 knots. Uh, here is his aspect to me. Uh, so he's 145 degrees off. So that, that basically means that he is cold. Uh, and then we have range indicated on the DLZ here. He is 15 nautical miles out. As I said before, the absolute maximum range is eight nautical miles. Uh, we have a short line down here. That's gonna be maximum aerodynamic range. So maximum range if your target is not maneuvering, of course, we're attacking a MiG-29 here, he's definitely going to maneuver. And then the long line is maximum range with maneuvering. If we can get within that range, we should get the tier or tires uh, notification, the shoot cue in effect, uh, and we can then fire with good certainty that we will make the kill. So that's the standard symbology there on the HUD. Uh, the radar is the same symbology we've always had. Uh, that's uh, exactly as before. So what we're going to do is we're going to unpause and I'm going to tap the magic uncage button. And you'll now notice the seeker is now queued on the radar target, hence the flashing circle. But at the current time, we have no tone. So at the current time, the, the seeker doesn't actually see a heat source. Uh, so I'm going to bring us in a bit closer, see if we can get a lock with the missile. This is, this is well outside of the missile's capabilities anyway. So it's not surprising we don't have a heat signature yet. Let's get it in a bit closer. Eight miles, so that would be usually absolute maximum range. Let's get in a bit closer. Uh, I'm actually going to steer towards the intercept queue here. There we go, we have tone. Oh, and we lost it again. Once we have tone and the seeker has a lock, we get a triangle. There we go. So. Let me just pause there again. You'll see that the box and the circle have now resolved into a triangle. This is the system telling us that the radar target and the seeker target for the missile are co-located. Uh, so that's good. That's exactly what we want to see. And both of our missiles are now circled, letting us know that they are ready. I also have the warning PSIC. That's coming up because we are currently in... Um, what is effectively TWS, the radar is warning us that we're at risk of losing this lock. We probably want to switch to an STT. So I've done that tier, tier is, uh, we have shoot cue, pull the trigger to the second detent and the missile's away. The second missile now also has tone, Fox 2 again. And that's a kill. First missile didn't track, the second one got him. And I could now uh, tap my unlock and we're back into normal kind of BVR mode there. And I could also move my CNM switch back to neutral and we're back in nav mode. And that's the aircraft back to normal. So two magic missiles out, one aircraft killed. And th that's the maximum load, unfortunately. Uh, in, in an M2000C, you can carry two 530s and you can carry two magic twos. So for a total of four missiles, and then you're down to cannon. Uh, and CNM switch forward would give you the cannon if you want to go into that mode. But uh, we're going to reset back out and go master arm safe. So that is the complete employment of the Magic 2 missile, both using radar queuing and using the sensor's own seeker. The sensor's own seeker? The missile's own seeker, in fact. <laughs> and keep in mind that the, uh, the seeker has these four different search modes that you can toggle using Magic Unlock and also the push button down here. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel. If you'd like to further support the channel, you have the option of joining Deep Hack's ground crew. Big shout out to those of you who've already done so. Thank you very much, Harish Rajan, Byron Farrow, Storm Kimbari, Channel Wright, Mangash, JR Walker, Shandor Hedgevald, Griff Nizzle, Mr. Yeti, Frantic Stone, Bread, Tier Zero, Erdinker Tan, Veli Tapani Corpicanas, Tiger Moto, Sean I Am 81, Charts, and Pink Floyd. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.